All right, so I'm going to doff my or don my equipment, and then uh, I'll walk into the room, grab a set of gloves off the off the wall, and then uh, inform the the patient what I'm going to be doing. And after having verified that uh, that the patient or that the doctor's orders, and finding out that the that the this person is who I think they are, then I'll be able to start start going ahead from there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to put on my gown. Put on my mask. Put on my goggles. Knock on the door. Come in, get a pair of gloves. This is going to be very steamy set of set of gloves or set of goggles. Nice. We're gonna pretend that that did not just break because we're low on gloves. Student Jason, today we're going to be uh, redressing your, your wound, cleaning it, and we're going to take some cultures of it to make sure that there's, there's uh, uh, find out what, kind of, what the bacteria is looking like. Uh, if you uh, have any questions, let me know, or can I ask what your pain level is at? All right. Uh, well, good. I, I'm, if, you were, if your pain level is too great for this procedure, then we would probably have to uh, make sure that your your pain is managed, and and then when your pain level was was decreased, we could proceed from there. But I'm glad to hear you're you've got no pain. All right. Um, at this time, because I'm uh, going to be working with you, I, I uh, I'm going to put this. I'm going to raise you up a little bit, and I'm going to uh, right now uh, get myself get all the supplies I need. Oh. And if I didn't already, I want to make sure I know who you are. Can I get your name and date of birth? All right, that is correct. Uh, all right, so I brought a bunch of supplies with me right now. I, uh, let me just fix this. All right, so I've got a bunch of supplies with me. I'm going to, this normally would have been covered up when I first walked in. And uh, yeah, we'll get started. All right, so I've got my supplies with me, which are not, and I'll open this away from me and they are not expired and I can uh, start to get my well here I'll uncover this real quick and oh there's a clean chucks pad already underneath it look at that I'm gonna so if the if I would replace it actually but it's yeah we're gonna say that I just did all right, so at this time I can also get my, just touching the, um, this biohazard bag and nothing else, not breaking sterile field. I can, I wanna make sure there is a lip in my biohazard bag. And I want to put this in a place that won't be uh, in the patient's way and it won't, uh, it won't be in, it, I won't have to reach over the, the wound to throw things away or anything. And so now I'm going to also grab my sterile field, only touching the outer edge. 
outer one inch and shiny side down if there is one we're going to pretend the shiny side is now down because this one doesn't have a shiny side so i can also um this i'm going if i want to add things which i do to the sterile field this would normally have packaging i would open this with uh with my aseptic technique my sterile technique and uh, now I go ahead and push it out of the package and just kind of let that drop in and these, these would also have packaging I would open them up without touching them and then drop them into the in the sterile field okay anything else I'm not going to touch until I have sterile gloves on so the next thing I'll do when I go in here is grab one and start putting them on right now what I'm going to do is uh, I want to I want to assess the wound. So I'm going to lift this up. Let me know if anything bothers you. I want to, I want to get this. I think that was. So the last person that did this is there's their initials that's their the time and date that they had, had done it and so now I can know what uh, whether or not it's been done on a, on a timely basis I'm going to go ahead and gently take this off place that inside the biohazard bag. So now at this time what I'm going to do is I want to uh, peel the bandage, the first layer, one level at a time, one layer at a time, peel it off gently, trying to make sure that it's not, uh, that I don't disturb the wound or anything in case it's, or if it is stuck to it, I want to make sure that I'm as gentle as possible. And I'll inspect it. Oh look, it's very clean. So I'll fold this in half. With the and I'll after having inspected it and I'll make a mental note because I can't uh, make make a mental note of what what it looks like and I'll put this in the biohazard bag and then so now I'll go one level further and okay so I've got I got one gauze sterile one gauze that was put on there I'll make note of of any. Uh, Exudate or, or anything that's on there uh, Yeah, so I'll put that on there as well Then I'm going to one level at a time start taking the packing out and making note of or taking note of, of what it looks like and This seems to be clean And put those in there as well All right, so right now I've got I've exposed the wound and I want to, I want to, I'm going to palpate it and I'm going to see uh, if there seems to be, if I, if I should suspect um, tunneling. So I'm going to, and this, there may very well be tunneling because, or else it feels like a rubber leg. One of the two. I don't know. But it's pretty soft right in there. So, but yeah. Did that hurt at all? No? All right. Good to go. All right. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'd also like to, uh, well, I'm, I'm, before I start, uh, before I can reach onto my sterile area, I need to have sterile gloves on. So I'm going to take these gloves off and, and I'll put these into the biohazard bag and get some hand sanitizer, sanitize my hands. Grab just one sterile thing of sterile gloves. Is it okay with you if I use this area right here to place my my sterile gloves? Okay, thank you. Just don't, uh, yeah, make sure you don't touch me though while I'm doing this because I, I gotta 
Yeah, I don't want you to touch my or touch my gloves accidentally. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put it on my dominant hand first. I am left-handed, although fairly ambidextrous. And by ambidextrous when it comes to anything other than writing. I'm going to pretend that that did not just break. And I would uh, try to try my best, because I only have so many of these gloves, try my best to get that up over my, my sleeve because, yeah, that'll keep sterility better. So now I'm going to grab this on the inside of the cuff. <laughs> as well. Okay, so now I've got sterile sterile hands. And now I can start getting things onto my sterile field. So I will need all of this in a little bit. Okay. And while I am, uh, now that I've got this, I'm going to open this. There's normally be a uh, thing right there. I want to put the, have the label toward my palm so that I'm not, uh, I don't end up having water dribble down onto my label and somehow obscuring what it is that I just put in there. Okay, so now, I can, uh, I'm going to start cleaning this. And so I'm going to take one at a time and get some get some gauze. And I want to clean this now. So, oh wait, yeah, I want to clean it first. So I'm gonna start from the, the cleanest to the dirtiest. So I'm gonna go from, from the inside out and cleaning with each swipe. I'm gonna place, place it in the uh, biohazard bag. Making sure I uh, squeeze that out. All right, I'm going to Get each quadrant and then put it in the biohazard bag. Okay, I'm going to so and So now that I've gotten all of that, all that stuff out of there, I also want to, um, I'm going to want to uh, get my get my swab or swab it for uh, um, what you call it for uh, uh, culture. Got to swab, do a culture swab. So now I, I although. I feel like I want to change these, but I'm told I am still sterile. So I'm going to grab this. The instructions that I that I uh, received are that it is well. This is about to not be sterile, so I'm going to place that right there, and, and I'm going to now I'm going to try and get some aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. So. I'm going to go with the, the anaerobic bacteria, which is in the 
the deepest part of the wound and some aerobic bacteria which is on the outer outer edges of the wound all right and then i will put that right in here like so and being that i, I only touched that then i i think i'm still terrible anyway i would uh at the end actually uh annotate who this person is so like, like the patient information and all it everything that's on here but i don't want to touch a pen because i'm i've got to store gloves on right now so i'm just going to put this right here into the side and so now i also want to um i'm going to grab this and i want to measure so i'm going to say that this is nine uh, nine and a half centimeters long and six centimeters wide and so i can go ahead and i'm gonna leave i'm gonna put this right here because when i uh, use my uh, what's it called I, yeah i'm gonna grab one of these and I'm going to use this to measure the depth. And well, first I want to check check for um, any tunneling. And I don't don't see any tunneling. And and then I want to measure how deep that is. And then I can. All right, that looks to be approximately one and a half centimeters deep. All right, and so now I'm gonna, I want to uh, pack and dress the wound. So I'm going to, I'm gonna take these off and, and then I will put these in, in the biohazard bag, sanitize my hands and I'm going to get another set of gloves on. And, all right, so I'm going to grab this. try my darndest to get that up over my sleeve but I think these gloves are just too small for me all right and now I'm going to I'll keep you without touching my sterile hand to my wrist or anything just keeping it in the in the in the cuff so now what I'm going to do is I can I'm going to pack it So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this and I want to make sure that I'm not putting it in or when I dress it, it doesn't, uh, it's not on the skin. It's only, only in the, uh, inside the wound because the skin, uh, isn't, isn't meant to stay moist. skin breakdown. So, so now I'll put this one like so. All right. All right. So now that is packed and I don't appear to have a roll of uh, gauze 
I must have uh, misplaced it. I would ask, I would have to call for somebody to bring me a roll of gauze and so that sterile gauze and if they could open it up and put it on my sterile field that would be awesome but uh, at the moment what I'm going to have to do is pretend that I have some sterile gauze so this is a roll of gauze I don't know I must have been going through too much gauze today anyway so I'm going to pretend this is all nicely rolled up and that's a stinker. Oh, and I, I don't have, I don't have a uh, abdominal bandage. All right, I don't know where my abdominal bandage is. I would have to call for an abdominal bandage. Uh, and I, when they come here, I'd ask for the abdominal bandage to be put on my sterile field as well. I'm gonna pretend that this over here is. Uh, well, what I'm doing is not actually happening. What I'm doing is letting somebody place... Oh, can I use that rolled up gauze? Yeah. Somebody nicely rolled that up for you. I think I know who that was. <laughs> anyway. So, anywho. Um, so I've got my gauze. We're going to pretend that didn't all didn't just happen. This came with, with my abdominal bandage and it came with the with the gauze. All right, so now I can put my abdominal, or I'm gonna put two dry pieces of gauze down to cover it. Okay, and then blue side up, I'll put that right there. In theory, this is now a clean procedure. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the patient. Now I'm going to grab a piece of tape and I will still, still, you know, we're not, it's not a sterile thing anymore. So now this time what I also want to do is make sure I put my, uh, I'll label this with my initials, time, and date, put a, put the, the label on there, and uh, I can actually, voila, it's got initials, time, and date, although admittedly it's a recycled label. <laughs> um, and. So now I'm going to clean up after myself. I, I can take off my my hand, uh, put everything, put everything that's garbage into the uh, biohazard bag. I take off my I'm gonna take off my gloves. I'll hand sanitize immediately, and then I want to uh, let's see. I want to take off my because. So gloves, goggles, <laughs> gown, and then mask. So put that out. 
touching the outside and rolling it up as well as possible. that in the biohazard bag and then I'll hand sanitize again take this off and then uh, oh and I want to I would have made sure if I'm in a contaminated room or something I would have done all that outside and made sure that the patient had their their uh, call leg they're in a down position and they were comfortable, and I would reassess what their what their pain is, and I would tell them to have a good day, and let me know if they need anything.